Hey guys, we're going to do a firmware review today for the Galaxy S2 for AT&T. Um, this is the first version. Um, and this is going to be for the leak that was Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.3. As you can tell right there, the model number is SGH i77. And there you go, it's the Android version. Um, well, I'm going to start off right off the bat, uh, pros and cons. Um, let's start off with the cons first. Um, I'm really disappointed with, um, I don't know, because a lot of people, they like uh, TouchWiz uh, and the TouchWiz interface overall. I like it, but I would really, I really wish there was a, an option t for vanilla Android on this phone, along with pretty much, pretty much all the other phones that are being upgraded to Ice Cream Sandwich. Um... Because I just really like the, over, the overall aesthetic look of it, and just the feel and smoothness of just vanilla, of vanilla Android. So as you can see, um, I know other people, they're showing, um, they're just showing TouchWiz upgraded to Ice Cream Sandwich. I downloaded Apex Launcher, uh, which you can find in the market, you know, I'll show you right now, Apex Launcher. It's really good uh, 4.8 rating in the Play Store. And, um, and yeah, you know, everything's pretty, um, everything runs pretty smooth. Um, pretty much that was the only con, which I found with it, that there's no option for vanilla Android. Um, battery life, I have seen an increase uh, pretty much from two to four hours in my usage. Um, but if you are, you know, really I'm a like moderate mid moderate a uh, user but if you're a heavy user you're pretty much going to get maybe 8 to 10 hours out of this thing depending on what you know what do you use if you always checking your emails or you're on the phone streaming from Pandora it, it will depend on your usage it will vary um one thing um so yeah I'll show you how first I'll show you how Apex Launcher works for those who are you if you're interested in uh, and downloading it so you see here you have your apps and you see right at the very top you have um kind of like three distinct areas your apps downloaded and your widgets um widgets right now they don't work it can only work when you're rooted so once there's i guess a rooted version for uh galaxy s2 and you know for the rest of the galaxy series phones you know then you could use the widgets but every time you when I use it and also other users have reported, uh, it just crashes and just brings up an error message. Um, so yeah, but you know, take a look at the widgets that do that you do have access to, you know, and you see the look of it. Weather, bookmarks, application monitor, and just looks pretty nice. And then just imagine like when you have it on you know uh, your screens, how it would look, you know, over here. Keys, latitude, news and weather, the Play Store, picture frame where you can display like I think up to a couple picture previews, um, scramble free with friends, you know, and then up at the very top you see those three dots. Those are kind of like your menu, and here is like your menu setting. So of course you can pretty much it's very customizable. You can change how many um, items you see here down at the sorry at the dock. And you see how, you know, you could just move it very easily. Um, so, <clears throat> so yeah, also, um, one thing that also has changed for sure is the font. As, uh, the font is now, uh, is now changed from, you know, on Samsung it was Helvetica. Now it's Roboto, which is now the, the universal font. I like it. Um... It's pretty much, you know, there's not that much to say about it. You know, I like it. I like the look of it. Um, I like how it's presented, um, like, in text. Um, here's a Opera Mini. You know, you can see the text, how it is. Uh, looks pretty nice overall on the, on the phone. Okay, so another thing we're going to check out is um, multitasking. So I showed you, you know, Internet. And then let's say, oh, let's check out Clock and Amazon. Now you're there at the home menu. Now, one thing that was very interesting, um, 
before was that when you press and held the home button for um the Gal uh, for the Galaxy S2 and pretty much the Galaxy series phones, it brings up the mo uh, this box which contains um the pre like the six most recent apps you've used, and it's pretty nice. And then it also brings up the task manager like button so you can click on it, and you know here's your task manager, and so you see like all the apps that we have running in the background right now. It's a lot. And so you press and hold the home button, and there, and look, you see how the multitasking is. It's like if it was on a tablet. It brings up like little previews of what's going on in each app. And then you can slide either left or right um, to the, you know, to end it and running in the background. So I'm swiping to the right, to the left, you see? It's pretty much killing all the apps in the background. And um, also brings up the option for the tax, task manager. And, you know, here you have your RAM. I have noticed, uh, just a comment, um, that Ice Cream Sandwich does run a little bit more of RAM in the background. Um, I'm not too sure, you know, if this is just because it's a leak version and they still haven't worked out the kinks. But that's um, something that I have noticed. And, you know, it will sometimes, you know, it can run your battery a little bit a lot. Um... But, um, yeah, I told you before I noticed that battery life was good um, overall. But there were, like, certain um, moments, like, when I've been testing this raw, um, this leak for about two weeks now, where just, like, a few, like, two or three days where the battery just ran down rapidly. And I just had, I was playing, like, either, um, I was on the internet or, and listening to music, on, on not, not through Pandora or anything, just through the native music player. And the battery was just running down pretty hard, um, not too sure um, if that will, you know, I, I'm pretty sure it will be addressed when the official firmware release comes out. Um, so also another thing let's check out is the browser. Um, now they change it from web to internet, you know, you click on it, nope, you don't want that, but um, But um, yeah, you see how it just will go to like Google, and you see how it looks. You know, pretty much the same standard browser look. But you know, with a few changes, um, of course, you see on the top to the right. You know, you have your bookmarks, um, and your history and your save pages. So it's like kind of like a quick options menu, and then also if you press the menu button down at the bottom, it gives you more options, you know, refresh, new window, find on page, print, download settings, you know, pretty much everything. And then you see on the, at the very, very um, top right, it kind of opens up a new window. So you see I have like a, I have three windows opening up. And yep. This is how it looks like. And then just click here. Yeah, the new, new traffic. I was downloading the new traffic mixtape. Cruise control. So yeah, this is just how it looks when you um, when you're browsing. Um, and then also, uh, you know, I'll just show you too how it looks like in portrait mode. Looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, and so and also one one cool thing that I really liked how they kept um, for sure definitely was um, the quick toggles at the top of the notification bar when you just bring it down Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, auto rotation, you know uh, ro rotation, airplane mode you know I like I like the quick toggle buttons instead of having to go to settings then you know to individual things now I'm gonna also show you something cool too when you look at Wi-Fi so yeah each app um, shows individually how much data they use each one uses Bluetooth and more, just giving you a look of how everything looks. Battery, the breakdown. Show you um, Wi Fi, how it looked. So turn it on, swipe it to the lot, you know, to the right brings up the networks
And um, also, um, we're also going to do one more quick thing. Um, as you know, like uh, a lot of leaks came out um, for the Galaxy S2, the Skyrocket, and also the Galaxy Note. So if you wanted to download them online, I will have the links down below. And um, yeah, you know, just um, leave comments on what you think, uh, any questions, any comments. Um, I will try my best to get, you know, back to most of them or try to answer them in the video. You know, many, many questions that you might, guys may have about any more, uh, any more things I did, haven't covered. Um, pretty much everything is still all the same. It's just pretty much the look and the feel, general look and feel that is different. Uh, camera, um, camera is still the same, you know. Still pretty much looks the same. You have your options down here, you know. So pretty much, you know, everything that you had in regular gingerbread 2.3 uh, touch with 4.0. So yeah. So to wrap it up, we're gonna run Quadrant uh, Standard Benchmark. And um, yeah, we're gonna run it right now. You know, um, stay tuned for uh, more videos and more reviews coming to my channel. Um, I will be doing a review of, um, I guess I'll do a hardware review of, uh, and software review of the Galaxy S2 and the Galaxy Note, along with. Um, Along with the iPhone 4 and iPhone 3GS, you know, just starting making reviews. So those will be like the first ones I will be making. So yeah, stay tuned. Please uh, subscribe and uh, like the video. And check out the links if you want to try out the new leak for Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0. Now the estimated time that people believe that it will come out will be, I think, in, a, in another month or two. So within May or June, um, you will have the official release of Ice Cream Sandwich for the Galaxy S2 and, and the Skyrocket and the Galaxy Note. And it will work out any kinks that you see if you download it, if you see, notice anything. But pretty much overall, I would recommend, you know, if you have a Galaxy S2 for AT&T, I would recommend downloading this. It is, you know, pretty cool. If you don't like TouchWiz, the new TouchWiz version for Ice Cream Sandwich, um, then, you know, download Apex Launcher, um, but I would totally recommend this, I totally recommend the leak. So, um, before, uh, my general scores have been pretty high, have been higher than you, um, than gin my gingerbread, uh, Galaxy S2. Um, right now, it's reading, um, 37, I, know, I don't know if you can see it, but, um, it's reading 3788, that's 3788, um, much higher than when I was on gingerbread. I would usually score around 3,000 to 3,200. And before, when I um, before when I was testing out Quadrant, um, it's been uh, it was scored 4,000, and normally that's what it scores. So um, yeah, the uh, the leak is pretty good, and I would recommend it. Um, how long I've been testing this uh, this leak out, um, this update for about two weeks now, and I would give it a pretty like 4.5 stars out of five. So, um, yeah, go ahead and try it out, and stay tuned for more videos, okay? All right.